So what is the spiral of silence? The spiral of silence is the increasing pressure people feel to conceal their views when they believe they're in the minority. This theory explains the growth and spread of public opinion. What causes the spiral is opinion expressed as dominant by mass media and interpersonal support for deviant opinion. And then what comes out of the spiral is the amount of people not openly expressing deviant opinion and or changing from deviant to dominant opinion because of the pressure they feel. The theorist of the spiral of silence is Elizabeth Noel Newman, a German political scientist. She first presented the spiral of silence theory in two scientific articles in 1974, and in 1980, she published the first book on the spiral of silence. To examine the spiral of silence, we must break it down to take a closer look. The category of this theory is media effects, which is everything that happens that would not happen without the media. The spiral of silence aims to explain public opinion, which is attitudes one can express without running the danger of isolating oneself. Fear of isolation is the engine that drives the spiral of silence. When isolation pressure is exerted on other people, for instance if they frown or shame someone if they say or do something that is rejected by public opinion, people tend to hide their opinion away when they think that they would expose themselves to the isolation pressure with their own opinion. There are multiple spiral of silence theory assumptions and hypotheses. People can gauge trends of public sentiment with their quasi-statistical organ, which is a sixth sense that tallies up information about what society in general is thinking or feeling. Fear of isolation causes people to constantly monitor climate of public opinion, and people are hesitant to express minority views because they fear isolation. People constantly observe other people's behavior in order to find out which opinions and behaviors are met with approval or rejection in the public sphere. And if too many opinions differ, Groups tend to move away from the one whose opinions deviate. Mass media has a huge influence on the formation of public opinion. If the media repeatedly supports one side in a public controversy, this side will stand a significantly higher chance of finishing the spiral of silence process as winner. The spiral of silence today on social media happens often and could be seen with the 2016 presidential election of Donald Trump. Many people expressed their shocks and disappointment with his election and wondered how he won, and many Trump voters that night were reluctant to express their excitement for his election, thus resulting in the spiral of silence. There are exceptions to the spiral of silence theory, described by Newman as holders of non-dominant views who are willing to speak out. There are two categories. The hardcore nonconformists are people who have already been rejected for their beliefs and have nothing to lose by speaking out, and the avant-garde, which are intellectuals, artists, and reformers in the isolated minority who speak out because they are convinced they are ahead of the time. So, to sum everything up, the spiral of silence, theorized by Elizabeth Noel Newman, examines public opinion and is when people tend to conceal their views when they believe they're in the minority. It is driven by the fear of isolation and heavily affected by the media. I hope now you have a better understanding of the spiral of silence theory.